I'm going to show you how to use Blue DV for Windows and connect it to a THD75 with a USB cable. So the first thing you want to do, it's probably the easiest because there's a lot of steps that have to be uh, set up in order and the radio is probably the most important that it's up for you and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and connect the USB. And then we're going to go to menu, go down to configuration, go to interface, and then go to DV gateway. And that's going to be 985. And we're going to change that to USB. We're going to back out of that, then go to the D star menu, menu or the digital. And we're going to go down to the DV gateway and go to DV gateway mode, which is menu 650. And we'll turn that on. Uh, make sure your call sign is set. Repeater 1 is direct. Repeater 2 is direct. And then we'll just back out of that. And that's all for setting up the radio. Now we'll set up the software. So the first thing we need to do is find our serial port. So we'll start at device manager and look for our serial port. And there's my USB serial device, COM5. That's the one we need. So we'll start Blue DV. And we'll disconnect. There you go. Uh, you can't get into the menu unless the serial has been turned off. So we'll go into setup. And here are the settings for the Blue DV for Windows. We'll put the call sign in, select our COM port, which is COM5. It's real important that you enable DTR since the 75 uses DTR DSR flow control. Um, the rest of this doesn't matter because we won't be using it other than time mode timer. I leave the defaults. Uh, that and long are approximations. Uh, D star module I set the D. APRS I turn check. And I also check enable and start. The main thing is to remember until everything's set up, this will not work. So if you start it before you have the radio set up and in terminal mode, then D star won't automatically start for you. Once you're all, oh, also remember do not check use ambi. Make sure that is unchecked. The rest of this you can ignore because it's other digital modes that we're not going to be using. So we can hit save. Then what we'll do is we'll click on serial and D star automatically start as soon as we connect it up. So now we're ready. So we'll go over here to the radio. We'll just push up. We'll go to reflector, link to reflector, and we'll select it. Now when I hit transmit, you'll see it connects over there. All right, then you just scroll up and go to reflector, use reflector and then you just use it like you normally would a hotspot or anything else. I'm going to go ahead and key up. This is KI4LAX testing. And that is the setup and connecting the THD75 with USB to the computer with Blue DV for Windows.